Okay guys, here we are. Um, right now I'm going to be doing a review on Kaspersky. Um, I might be doing it on the antivirus uh, just to check it. Uh, I believe I already did something on the uh, on the hang on a second, let me see. Um, let me check out my videos and I'll see what I have. Pretty sure I did the Kaspersky Internet Security 2011, so I already did that one. So I'm going to go with uh, the antivirus then. Um, okay, so I'm going to download this and uh, I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys, uh, right now uh, it just finished. Pretty big installer, uh, 110 megabytes. I'll run it. Everybody's complaining that my mic's not loud enough. Oh well, just turn your speakers up all the way. I'll try to talk louder. Last night it wasn't that loud because it was in the middle of the night and people were sleeping, so. Okay, so I never used this before. Um, I've always heard Kaspersky was good, so let's take a look at it. Everybody's saying the new Komodo is um, the newest version. It's not good, so uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to use now. Right now I'm currently using Komodo still, but uh, I'll have to take a look. Um, Trying to put these links on this computer. Okay, so here we go. I'm actually going to show you a new partner here. Uh, A C A F A C C A A. Um, friend of mine. Good guy. Uh, so yeah, we just became partners a few days ago. Um, his first name is Alexander. He also reviews antiviruses, as you can see. Don't know why this is like this. There we go. He has like 30 or so tests he has done. Um, so yeah, that's that. And yeah. I'm just basically going to install this and I'm going to test it and I'll see how it goes. Uh, okay, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so here we are. While it's updating, I'll just show you the interface. So you actually get this little ball thing. I'm not really sure what it is. That looks pretty cool though. Uh, so here we go. We got protection file and private uh, data for protection. And we got file antivirus, proactive defense system and applications pro uh, protection, mail antivirus, web antivirus, IM antivirus, system watcher, proactive defense there, and online security bot, mail shield, or mail antivirus, web antivirus, IM, and anti-pishing. So, then you got a run full scan, critical area scan, tools here, They the tools they have is rescue disk, um, Privacy Cleaner, System Restore, Vulnerable Scan, and also Browser Configuration. So, I'm actually going to start installing my security tools that to help me find out what it missed and what it didn't. So, I'm going to pause the video and let this finish this update, and I'll be back in a few minutes. So, I'll see you guys then. Okay, so just a quick look. Uh, I got Hitman Pro, Malwarebytes, Norton Power Eraser, and New security tester I'm going to use is Moto Cleaning Essentials. Um, it has kill switch. It has uh, if you open the main thing up, you can see it has throw it up. There it is. Full scan, custom scan, open kill switch, kill switch. You can uh, 
and processes and stuff like that. So, and I found out what this is. This is just the main interface. This button. This button is active threat, or this is one's updates. Uh, this one is reports, and this one is settings. So yeah, it seems like it's taken a while to update. It's only 11.1 .1 megabytes downloaded, and it's been like five or ten minutes already. So they have um. 4,712,551 um, signatures so far. That might increase whenever this is finished updating. I'm not really sure myself how this is. Because um, I haven't really used it. Okay, so I guess it needs a reboot, and uh, I'll be right back with you guys after this reboot. Okay, so here we are booted back up. Um, it's just still in the process of booting. Connection is enabled. Um, do not show this window. Close. And I'm guessing it's up to date. Um, I'm going to run an update one more time just to make sure. See, the uh, number of signatures went up by a million or two. They're now at 5,887,099. Uh, it's still updating. Come on. Seems like their update is so slow or something because. Last time I checked, updaters didn't take this long. Well, at least whenever you download it, they should have a newer version of it, so you don't have to update every time. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to pause this for a few minutes, and I'll see you guys when I get back. Okay, so here we are back, and it's finished with the update, finally. And hit and pros running, so I'm gonna hurry up and close that. I'll just let it run just to be sure. More and more. Okay, so we're good. Production is enabled. So let's get testing. Automatically, Kaspersky uh, access denied, um, and it is reported as malware or malicious, containing malicious URL, so it's denied. Review detail report. Okay, so that's good. That one's also blocked. I can know what that noise was. Hang on a sec. Yeah, they got a little. Whatever it is. Um, never heard that one before, but it's better than a. Uh, better than a crappy Avira, which is kind of annoying and loud. But, yeah. Okay, so we try to run this one. Okay, here it is. If we run it, and there's that noise again, and it's blocked, so good. Like I said, I've never personally used Kaspersky before. I've always heard it was a good antivirus, so. Okay, so it's denied. Malicious link. 
Um, so far so good, it didn't look through anything. There we go, blocked. Now it's blocked even though it didn't get to run, but blocked. This one is a spy eye. It's like it's dead. That one's dead. And that one's dead, so I'm gonna Okay. Just checking that. Uh -huh. Let's go to the mouth code and get some of these. Strange Komodo's blocking it. Apologize for that. And that one's blocked. Okay, looks like this one installed something. It is necessary to reboot the computer, so... Never told me that before. It should have, so I'm gonna reboot and I'll run a full scan with it and clean up the temp files and then I'll be back after that, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so I'm back uh, with that restart and this is the program that it got installed. It's um, not really sure if it's safe or what because it looks like a video player or something. But if we exit out, See here. Wonder if it just changed the background on me or well, I guess that's what happened, I don't know. So I'm going to run uh, C Cleaner. I'll run a full scan and I'll be back in a few minutes, so I'll see you guys then. Okay, well since I have a life and um, I'm not going to sit here for 37 minutes to wait for a freaking scan to finish, 
Uh, I probably won't finish the full scan because this is ridiculous. Uh, if I have more time, then that would be different, but I'm not going to sit here and wait because the Hitman Pro scan says it found nothing, so this might actually not be a virus. Um, but I'm going to run a few others. I'll go with Komodo, Malware Bites, and Norton Power Eraser. While the one is running in the background, and I don't know, maybe the time will decrease or something, but let's just check and see how it goes. I have not ever used Komodo Cleaning Essentials before. And of course, it didn't start. There it is. So I want to wait. I'll just say forget it and I'm going to restart. So I'll be back in a minute and I'll see you guys then. Alrighty, so here I am back from the restart. So this is just like a slideshow of car dealer, of a car dealer, or cars. I'm um, going to Like I said, I'm not going to sit here for 30 minutes waiting for a uh, scan to finish because I have other things to do than just sit here. But it actually caught everything except this one program, so I'm not really sure if it's just uh, a false positive or if it's a... Let's see here. As you can see right here, from the startup, so I'll disable it and let me take a look at. Um, Actually, update this or upload it. Sorry, and uh, let's check and see. So zero out of forty-three. So yeah, it's basically a false. Nobody has detected it. So yeah. Um, let's see if it. Yeah, see it installs something, so. Beijing uh, Capital Online Network Technology, so. It's in Japanese, or rather, I guess. I don't know, Chinese, something like that. So I'm just going to uninstall this. because it's something malicious. What is this doing? Okay, so I'm going to wait for this to finish and I'll be Okay, so here we are with Norton Power Eraser scan, nothing found. Still waiting on malware bytes, it already found one thing. But, uh, like I said, I'm not going to sit here and wait uh, 30 minutes or 40 minutes. It was at the time I'm still going up for the scan to complete, so it could have found it, it could have not have. I um, believe this is a temp file. Uh, but yeah, uh, Komodo Cleaning Essentials, it's still in beta form. Uh, hasn't really found anything. 
yet, but I'm going to take a look at the app. I see it's found three objects, so I'll take a look and see what it is. I don't know if this will let me look, but they have a kill switch app in here. Right here. Seems like it's taken forever on this freaking computer. I already clicked yes, come on. Unless you can only run one at a time and the beta scan is completed. Maybe that's considered as one, so. If it pops up, I'll be right back and I'll Finally finished. Um, I'm gonna show results and we got three Trojans in here, so yeah, that was a Trojan, that coupon. Um. Oh, this freaking thing. I don't know what's slowing it down, but something is. Hang on a sec. I've got the I've, I've got the I've got the magic in me. Alright guys, I'm back and uh, for some reason it wasn't recording, but Malwarebytes ended up finding three things. There were three Trojans at one file, the Cooper, the Coop, whatever it was, that ended up being a virus. Then there was one more in the temp files, but like I said, I would have showed you guys, but it was, it just didn't record for some reason, but, uh, and Komodo Cleaning Essentials didn't find anything neither. So right here we got um, Kill Switch. So basically it's a program that shows all of our programs running on the machine. Just say sidebar. We go to properties. The verdict, the basic is safe, so it shows safe. And it shows all about this program. And just say we want to end the sidebar, right click, terminate, terminate, and there it went. Not too hard, pretty good for uh, people that have malware running on their machines. But Kaspersky did a pretty good job, it only missed three things as I've seen. Uh, so comment, rate, and subscribe, and rate this video as you think it should be rated, and the review. And also, do not forget to check out my partner. I will put his uh, link in the description. And I will show you this video one more time.
to see here, or his channel rather. You can go to my channel and check them out. He's the first one, and right here. So, yeah. So, uh, I guess you guys can comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.